Howdy strangers, look at my new armor set. Yep, I'm a cowboy now. It's totally awesome. Just point me towards a horse and I'll go monster hunting. This is the great Rocky armor set. And damn is it useful. The skills on this are really good. It's got Shaka Locker Rally which makes Cha Cha more effective. Speed, oh I think I gemmed in speed sharpening. Razor Sharp which means your sharpness drops not as fast. That's the Talisman stuff, and Negate Poison, which is absolutely great against some of the upcoming monsters. Now, I actually should be using a bowgun with this set, you know, to fit the whole cowboy theme. However, I have no idea how to use a bowgun to save my life, so I'm not going to. Uh, let's see, need to get some good food. Hmm, nothing really useful in here. Rapscallion and Jumbo Bread, maybe? No. I don't need all these elemental resistance stuff. Because the monster I'm going up against next doesn't have any elements on him. Eh, I'll take Acrobat, I guess. That might come in handy. Not particularly sure what it does, but I think it makes your dodging better or faster or something. Let's see, Acrobat. Or it gives you a quick recovery when sent flying by a monster. Eh, could come in handy. Also, the weapon that I am using right now, it looks kind of weird. It is the Royal Ludroth Longsword. And yes, I know it's not a longsword. It looks like an axe or a hatchet or something. But whatever. Mm-hmm. Some sort of biologist wants me to go and kill a Baroth. For so, for some reason. He wants to study it, I guess. And you can study a dead Baroth. Oh, so well. Anyway, we're back in the sandy plains. Uh, did I bring... Oh, I don't think I need drinks anyway. Because uh, you do need hot or cold drinks depending on the time of day in areas 8, 9, and 10. But I'm pretty sure the Baroth doesn't even go there anyway. So don't worry about it. Felvine Bomb, come on, give me some useful stuff. Like a Psycho Serum or something. Oh, and he's pissed off already. Well, fine then. Screw you, old man. Alright, now the Baroth starts out in Area 3. I can go this way, or I can take the shortcut to Area 7. I think this might be quicker, actually. Go to 7, then go to 2 from here, and then to 3. And then it's go time. Finally, the first somewhat competent monster to fight. If you were playing Try... This guy would be kicking your ass the first time you fought him. I wonder if he's still as hard as he used to be. Because I'm pretty sure they, like, nerfed a whole bunch of low rank monsters. Alright. There's a puddle of mud there. And there's the Baroth. Look at that thing. Look at that head. He can do so much damage with that. And he likes to roll around in the mud and get it all over him. And then he does that, he shakes it off. Kind of defeats the purpose of getting it on in the first place. But it's actually one of his most devastating attacks. In that it can really cripple you. Also, he is pretty big. At least the biggest monster you're going to fight so far. In fact, he is so big that you're going to have a hard time cutting off his tail if you're like using a sword and shield or the dual swords. Because they just can't reach up there. Also, his roar is the first roar that you'll encounter that stuns you whenever he does it. Royal Ludroth didn't, Kurapeko didn't, Jaggy and Roggy didn't, but this guy does. And it's not really that much of a pain because usually the stun wears off by the time he's finished roaring. But it could screw you over in some situations. Also, do not attack his head because you will just keep bouncing off of it. Unless, of course, you're using a hammer, in which case it's pretty much your job to go for the head. So yeah, he has the tailspin, kind of like the Great Jaggy. But this one is actually fairly easy to dodge if you just kind of stay where his legs are. Kind of got a blind spot there. Do I cha cha be helpful? Alright. He's not doing a whole lot. I guess this one must be pretty lazy. Baroff is usually all... Oh, crap. Freaking Benahabra. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Actually, that didn't hurt that much. Is it the armor? 
do believe I've upgraded it, like, to the maximum. That's possible. Oh, crap. This is what happens when the mud gets on you. It gets stuck on you, you can't do anything until you get hit by him, which breaks it. You get hit by Cha-Cha, which breaks it. Or it just wears off over time, or you use a cleanser to get it off. Although this is a pretty good time to go for the tail, I suppose. Now, as far as elemental stuff goes, he is actually weak to two different elements, depending on what state he's in. If he's got mud on him, you can use a water weapon to get the mud off real easily. And once the mud is off, his bare skin is weakest to fire. Like almost every monster in the damn game. If it doesn't use fire, it's weak to fire. That's definitely true for the Baroth. Oh. Jeez. Alright. Oh no. Oh, the bounce saved me. Thank you, Bounce, for being so helpful. Oh crap. Yep. I'm gonna get away from that. I'm pretty sure he charged a lot faster in try. They made him a lot slower because people were really just devastated by him whenever they first fought him. Pretty much the... Uh, I think he was the urgent for some hunter rank if you were playing online in try and pretty much everyone above that hunter rank was much better than everyone below that hunter rank because they had to defeat the Baroth and you have to get a lot better to beat him. Because he is the most difficult monster by far you're gonna face at this point in the game at least. There will be a lot harder stuff like the Diablos which is basically a supersized Baroth which charges at you even faster. And also he eats bugs. Yes, a creature that gigantic somehow gets enough nourishment out of these bugs to survive off of. Now of course the bugs are damn huge as well, but still. I don't think bugs are all that nutritious. I mean, what's there to eat? Hardly any meat on them. If you can even call that meat. Just exoskeleton with like fluids inside, I think. And again, I'm not an... Uh, how do, what did you call someone that studies insects? Entomologist, I think? Could be wrong there. I think I saw it on National Geographic once. Oh well. Back to finding the Baroth. Also, you can tell Baroth is, I think, also the first monster you're gonna fight that has a rage mode. Which basically means that he gets angry and then he gets stronger and faster and... Just all out more relentless. And you can tell when he's in rage mode because then there's gonna be like little puffs of smoke coming from his head. So I guess it's sort of like a big chimney. Which is kind of weird. But then again, biology has never made sense in the Monster Hunter universe. Also, a creature this big can somehow move underground with great ease. So, yeah. Alright, buddy. Let's go. Oh, he's not charging. Not the attacking charge, at least. Also, forward's going pretty good. I've never even once been close to being killed, and he's not really charging all that much. Oh, yeah, sure. Go for Cha-Cha. That's always good. Yes. Oh, jeez. This one is really lazy. Either that, or they really just toned him down so that he doesn't charge as much. Oh, okay. He can headbutt the ground, which is easily avoidable. Ah, oh, Wyvern tier. I don't need that. Oh, crap. Okay, that dive wasn't even necessary. I was totally clear. Oh, well. Oh, jeez. Again? Dude. Be a little aggressive. Like, they have me hunt the one uh, non-combatant Baroth right now. The one pacifist out of the entire species. Stop roaring. It's not going to do you any good. Just do something. Instead of just taking a step. Okay, that works. That was easily avoidable, but still. Tail, go off already. I hit you so many times. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Ooh. Wow, the hitbox on that must be pathetic. It's a little bigger on the Baroth subspecies, though. Ooh. How did that not hit me? Tail totally touched me. I'm not complaining, but still. See, I'm having... Uh, I am 
having somewhat of a difficult time even reaching the tail with my long sword. So I can't even imagine trying to get it with the sword and shield or the dual blades. It's just gotta be such a pain. Oh crap! Miss me, sucker. Alright, son. You just clip through that tree, rock, whatever the hell it is. Oh crap! Ah, you got me with that one. Still, the damage is so little. It might just be because of my armor that I've like, upgraded it a lot more than I did in Try, but it just... He was... I swear he was doing so much more damage in that game. Pretty much had to make Renoplos armor to beat him because that gives you... Uh, makes you immune to the mud thing he does. Which is pretty handy if you're... Oh, there goes the tail. Nice. Alright, give me something good. Of course I get a tail from the tail. Makes sense, right? Alright, he's knocked down. Moving in for the kill. Although I don't think he's drooling yet, so he's not really getting tired. Oh, crap. Yeah. I think he's not quite running out of steam just yet. Oh. However, the tail swing is pretty much not a threat anymore now that the tail's been circumcised more or less oh crap yeah I took that one could have gone better oh not gonna hit me with that son I have to try again no 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 he's charged right through that not even break it no problem all right jeez okay he's certainly stepping up his game he's moving around a lot more also he's going for cha cha a whole lot which I don't mind because that's what he's for perfect distraction now he just needs to get on the healing stuff, because he's not really doing that a whole lot for me. Oh. Okay, the tail hit me, but it didn't knock me down. It would be awesome if I can break his head as well. With this guy, you can uh, cut his tail off, and you can break off part of his head. And I guess it's just like a big hollow shell on top of his head, because... Hell, he'd pretty much be dead if you snap off a piece of his skull, I suppose. Probably just like a really big... Oh, he's limping. Sweet. Must be just like a big horn or something. One big shield-like horn. And he's going to... Four. Pretty sure that... Oh, two. Okay, you can also go there. Uh, as far as his movement range, I... He goes to three, four, two. I think I've seen him in one a couple times but he will pretty much never ever go to any of the other areas although maybe 8 I'm not sure about that one but definitely not 9, 10, 11 or 5 oh yeah he is so tired Just standing there drooling letting me wail on him come on man at least make some sort of effort to save your life I mean, come on, you're like a 15 meter freaking dinosaur with an armored head. How can you not save yourself from a puny guy with a sword? And a freaking poncho. Kind of looks like a Mexican. Like a, a gringo. I think that's Spanish for like a criminal or scumbag or something. Anyway, we have slain the Baroth and we get a scalp. Oh, great, we're scalping him. Lovely. And what else? A shell? Okay, that's pretty good. And what else does he have? Like a claw or a fang or something? Or a ridge? Sure. Alright. Well, that went pretty easy. Not that, not nearly as bad as I remember it from Try. I just go and farm some more bugs. I need to fill up the time anyway. But yeah, this armor, it is... Looks pretty cool, but... I don't see how this protects you from, like, damage. I mean, how is a cowboy hat gonna protect you from being hit on the head really hard? It's not. It's not like you're wearing freaking armor. A hat does not protect you, it only makes you look badass. Same goes for the poncho. I mean, sure, it might protect me from, like, a rainstorm, but not from a charging dinosaur. Oh well. For the sake of gameplay, I suppose. Okay, we get a claw, bones, armor sphere, more bone, ridge, ridge, ridge. Right then, I guess the ridge is like a really common drop. 
and some money from Wyvern Tears, and it's 14 meters. Pretty big. And we get some gallery videos. Maybe you need to show a couple of those sometime. Oh well, get around to that. Maybe like when I unlock all of them, I make a, I'll make a compilation. Just for the sake of it. Oh, what's up, Chacha? You want to talk? Alright, we'll talk. A new mask idea, huh? Okay. Oh, and he gets some stuff, but a hammer spine and... Oh, sweet, he actually took some stuff from the monsters I captured. Not bad, Chacha. You are a worthy minion. Oh, Junior. Your little rat something. Yeah, just a new villager request for the grill mask. Or the kebab boo mask, I'm not really sure which one. So yeah, the grill mask, pretty much if you give Chacha raw meat, he will grill it for you. I guess if you're too lazy to do it yourself, it can come in handy, and what do you want? Mm-hmm. New quests. A new region. Okay. A gobel is up next, in the flooded forest. Yeah, we've been there before. Then what's the new region they're talking about? Oh, it might be the Tundra, I think. But yeah, next, the urgent quest, accident investigation, hunt a gobel. Oh boy. Looking forward to this one. I will see you guys in the next episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.